Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Next day, we will be going to Trepanier Creek. We told you that. A neat property of Trepanier Creek, and, and a lot of creeks out there that are flowing through fairly flat ground. They're not in a big canyon. They're flowing over fairly flat ground and cutting a path through like forest floor. Um, creates a gold deposit that is kind of different than most creeks. I'm going to show you uh, what, what that deposit is and how we look for it and find it. Now, I just drew sort of a cross section of the river, like we took a saw and cut the river in half, uh, and we could see inside the river. Trepanier Creek looks kind of like this. It's quite a flat bottom river. The banks go up and then flatten off into the forest. They go up and flatten off into the forest on both sides. It's not in a valley, really. It's a big valley, but the bottom is quite flat. And as the creek runs through this flat bottom, it cuts itself a channel through the dirt and the rocks for the river to meander its way down. Now, I've just taken that sort of idea and nice and big blew up one edge of it, sort of just one edge of that creek here. I'm going to show you why we have a unique deposit on Trepanier Creek. Now, as this water is flowing by and flowing by and flowing by, it's eroding the edge of the creek slowly. So the stuff that's over here on the edge is slowly ero eroding and falling down, down out onto the bottom of the creek. As it erodes the edge, as more and more material go away, it starts to cut in to the bank. It cuts in a bit. And this stuff falls and goes out of the creek. And then it cuts in a bit more. And this stuff falls. Maybe that rock tumbles and goes down there. And it erodes a bit more. And you end up with this undercut. The edge comes over here. And then at the edge of the river, it's got this big undercut. Now this can create a neat deposit because as this material that was right there flows away and falls out into the bottom of the creek, any of the gold, little red specks I have anywhere, any of the gold that was in there doesn't necessarily wash away. What happens with all these specks of gold that were there is they all fall straight down. And land in a bit of a layer right there. Because gold is so much heavier than anything else, it doesn't wash away like other things do. The sand and gravel that's there is light. And when the water erodes it, it just washes away downstream. But the gold that should wash away as well is too heavy to get carried away with the current, and instead it falls. Now, gold doesn't necessarily like to just sit on the surface. It slowly starts sinking into the surface. It starts going down into the gravel right here. Now, the same rules of thumb that we talked about before about inside corners still apply here, but this is just an extra thing that concentrates gold in a certain spot. These undercut edges, if you start digging down into them in this area right below, you can start getting some really nice deposits of gold. Now, as the gold sinks down, if it hits something in there, like a layer of clay, Maybe there's a nice thick layer of clay that is really hard for the gold to pass through. It'll sink down and it'll sit right on top of that layer of clay. And this is quite common at Trepanier where we're going. If you go down six inches to a foot, maybe a foot and a half to two feet, you start finding this crazy blue clay. It's quite blue. It's like, you'll see, it's blue. Uh, and the gold likes to sit right Where on top. Anything? The blue clay? No. Blue clay is just clay. It's just dirt. It's just a very, very fine dirt. But because it's clay, it compacts together and the gold doesn't like to travel through it. You can dig through it, no problem. And the gold is usually sitting right on top of that clay. 
Panning clay can be difficult because it clumps up and it takes a bit of time for it to wash clean and wash out all the clay. But yeah, you can pan clay. Now, on Trepanye Creek, we seem to have one side with an eroded side that has a great deposit. The other side of the creek also has an eroded side. It cuts in as well but I haven't found any gold on the other side. So it seems like the gold is just traveling down the north bank of this river. This would be the north bank. Seems like there's a great gold deposit right there on the north bank, and if you go over onto the south bank, there isn't very much. In some situations, along that north bank, you will find this clay layer that it's sitting on. In other situations, what you might find is a big big rock underneath the ground. And if you find these big rocks that are flat on top, you may find a lot of gold sitting right on top of them because the gold can't continue traveling. It hits the rock and stops. In some places, you can't find either clay or rocks, but you can just sort of take that whole section right through there and dig through it all and get pretty good gold. I've had pans in Trepanye with more than 100 specks of gold in them. They're tiny, they're really small specks, but in this area I've had uh, places with more than 100 in one pan. Have you found nuggets? Uh, no nuggets on Trepanye. I have found a flake that was a good eighth inch in diameter, really big flake, but no big nuggets. Yeah. Okay. This is just another place that gold can concentrate. You learned about inside corners and pay streaks the other day? Gentlemen? You learned about inside corners and pay streaks. You can also learn about eroded banks like this. In the next couple of days, I'll talk to you about a couple more things like big boulders in the creek bedrock outcroppings, a few more things that concentrate gold all in one spot. Any questions about this? Okay. When we're, when we're panning here, I want you all to try underneath the north bank like this. If you want, you can try out in the middle. The water is only uh, six inches deep. You can walk out in the middle, no problem. Uh, but I've never found anything out there. You can try the South Shore if you want, but again, I haven't found very good uh, gold over there. To find the good stuff, it's on the North Shore underneath that bank. Excellent.